My friend, stay a while and listen. I know of many myths and legends that may contain answers to questions that may arise in your journeys into the labyrinth. If you come across challenges and questions to which you seek knowledge, seek me out and I will tell you what I can. Well, what can I do for you? Oh, sometimes I think that Cain talks too much. But I guess that's his calling in life. If I could bend steel as well as he can bend your ear, oh, I could make a suit of court plate good enough for an emperor. Thank goodness you returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. What ails you, my friend? Ogden's barmaid is a sweet girl. Her grandmother is quite ill and suffers from delusions. She claims that they are visions, but I have no proof of that one way or the other. What ails you, my friend? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Good day. How may I serve you? The woman at the edge of town is a witch. She seems nice enough and her name, Adria, is very pleasing to the ear. But I'm very afraid of her. It would take someone quite brave like you to see what she is doing out there. I sense a soul in search of answer. The higher you place your faith in one man, the farther it has to fall. Farnham has lost his soul, but not to any demon. It was lost when he saw his fellow townspeople betrayed by the Archbishop Lazarus. He has knowledge to be gleaned, but you must separate fact from fantasy. The Archbishop Lazarus, you led us down here to find the lost prince. Bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. The sanctity of this place has been fouled.
can't carry any more. Too much baggage. I can't carry any more. I gotta pawn some of this stuff.
My friend, stay a while and listen. for you. for you. I sense a soul in search of answers. My friend, stay a while and listen. do for you.
Sends a soul in search of answers. you, my friend. Well, what can I do for you? for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
spirits of the dead are now avenged.
can't carry anymore. Too much baggage. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What can I do for you? Sense a soul in search of answers. The village needs your help, good master. Some months ago, King Leoric's son, Prince Albert, was kidnapped. The king went into a rage and scoured the village for his missing child. With each passing day, Leoric seemed to slip deeper into madness. He sought to blame innocent townsfolk for the boy's disappearance and had them brutally executed. Less than half of us survived his insanity. The king's knights and priests tried to placate him, but he turned against them and, sadly, they were forced to kill him. With his dying breath, the king called down a terrible curse upon his former followers. He vowed that they would serve him in darkness forever. This is where things take an even darker twist than I thought possible. Our former king has risen from his eternal sleep and now commands a legion of undead minions within the labyrinth. His body was buried in a tomb three levels beneath the cathedral. Please, good master, put his soul at ease by destroying his now cursed form. Well, what can I do for you? I made many of the weapons and most of the armor that King Leoric used to outfit his knights. I even crafted a huge two-handed sword of the finest mithril for him, as well as a field crown to match. Oh, I still cannot believe how he died, but it must have been some sinister force that drove him insane! Hello, my friend. Stay a while. Ah, the story of our king, is it? The tragic fall of Leoric was a harsh blow to this land. The people always loved the king, and now they live in mortal fear of him. The question that I keep asking myself is how he could have fallen so far from the light, as Leoric had always been the holiest of men. Only the vilest powers of hell could so utterly destroy a man from within. What ails you, my friend? The loss of his son was too much for King Leoric. I did what I could to ease his madness, but in the end, it overcame him. A black curse has hung over this kingdom from that day forward. 
But perhaps if you were to free his spirit from his earthly prison, the curse would be lifted. Can't a fellow drink in peace? Why don't that old crone do something for a change? Sure, sure, she's got stuff. Will you listen to me? She's unnatural. I ain't never seen her eat or drink. And you can't trust somebody who doesn't drink at least a little. I don't care about that. Listen. I don't care about that. Listen. No skeleton is gonna be my king. Leoric is king. King! So you hear me? Hail to the king!
life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> Sends a soul in search of answers.
my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? What ails you, my friend? Life has entered my time. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> Too much baggage on some of this stuff. What can I do for you? Hello, my friend. 
Stay a while and listen. for you. Sense a soul in search of answers.
I gotta pawn some of this stuff. friend stay a while and listen well what can I do for you
of our king is past, but I fear that it was only part of a greater evil at work. However, we may yet be saved from the darkness that consumes our land, for your victory is a good omen. May light guide you on your way, good master. Master, I have a strange experience to relate. I know that you have a great knowledge of those monstrosities that inhabit the labyrinth, and this is something that I cannot understand for the very life of me. I was awakened during the night by a scraping sound just outside of my tavern. When I looked out from my bedroom, I saw the shapes of small, demon-like creatures in the inn-yard. After a short time, they ran off, but not before stealing the sign to my inn. I don't know why the demons would steal my sign, but leave my family in peace. It is strange, no? Greetings, good master. Welcome to the tavern of the Rock. Pepin is a good man, and certainly the most generous in the village. He's always attending to the needs of others, but trouble of some sort or another does seem to follow him wherever he goes. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen.
Stay for a moment. I have a story you might find interesting. A caravan that was bound for the Eastern Kingdoms passed through here some time ago. It was supposedly carrying a piece of the heavens that had fallen to Earth. The caravan was ambushed by cloaked riders just north of here along the roadway. I searched the wreckage for this sky rock, but it was nowhere to be found. If you should find it, I believe that I can fashion something useful from it. Well, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? I don't know what it is they thought they could see with that rock, but I will say this. If rocks are falling from the sky, you had better be careful. My goodness, demons running about the village at night, pillaging our homes, is nothing sacred? I hope that Ogden and Garda are all right. I suppose that they would come to see me if they were hurt. Hey, how may I serve you? The woman at the edge of town is a witch. She seems nice enough, and her name, Adria, is very pleasing to the ear. But I'm very afraid of her. Well, a caravan of some very important people did stop here, but that was quite a while ago. They had strange accents and were starting on a long journey, as I recall. I don't see how you could hope to find anything that they would have been carrying. Oh my, is that where the sign went? My grandmother and I must have slept right through the whole thing. Thank the life that those monsters didn't attack the inn. Psst! Over here! In case you haven't noticed, I don't buy anything from Tristram. I am an importer of quality goods. If you want a peddle of junk, you'll have to see Griswold, Pepin, or that witch Adria. I'm sure they'll snap up whatever you can bring them. If anyone can make something out of that rock, Griswold can. He knows what he is doing. And as much as I try to steal his customers, I respect the quality of his work. What? What? Is he saying I took that? I suppose that Griswold is on his side too. Look, I got over simple sign stealing months ago. You can't turn a profit on a piece of wood. All 
praises to Diablo, Lord of Terror and survivor of the Dark Exile. When he awakened from his long slumber, my lord and master spoke to me of secrets that few mortals know. He told me the kingdoms of the high heavens and the pits of the burning hells engage in an eternal war. He revealed the powers that have brought this discord to the realms of man. My lord has named the battle for this world and all who exist here, the Sin War.
I gotta pawn some of this stuff. friend 
Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? The smell of death surrounds me. 